Hola amigos, welcome to the Food Fiesta channel. Alright guys, in today's video we're going to show you how to turn some basic corn on the cob like this and transform it to some delicious Mexican style street corn. We hope you enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more authentic recipes like this one. Let's get started. All right, Food Fiesta fam, we got a delicious one here for you. Today, we're going to be making some Mexican style street corn or commonly referred to as elotes. There's not too many ingredients here, so we think this is an easy one for you to follow and a delicious one to make. To get started, you're going to need some corn, some mayonnaise, cotija cheese, some lime, some tahin chili powder, some piquin chili powder, and last but not least, you're going to need some skewers for your corn to make it easier to hold and easier to eat. Okay, so step one, peel your corn. So after a few bicep curls at the gym, now it looks like we're ready to peel the corn. Next, grab your corn and let's give it a rinse. You're going to want to make sure to wash off any potential bacteria on there to ensure you stay COVID free. Alright, so next we're going to need to cook the corn, so just grab a pot, boil some water, and throw it in there. Cook times will vary depending on how much corn you have and the size of your pot, but it doesn't really take too long. Ours took about 15 to 20 minutes to fully cook through. Okay, so it looks like our corn is done cooking. Let's take it out of the pot and set it aside. We're just gonna wanna let it cool down for a little bit before we start touching it. It's gonna be piping hot coming right out of the boiling water. All right, so it looks like we're ready to start decorating our elotes. First step here is you're gonna wanna grab your skewer and use that to stick it into the end of the corn, like so. And moving on. The next step to prepare elotes will be to apply a thick layer of mayonnaise fully covering the elote. Make sure to be generous with the mayo here because this will help retain the rest of the ingredients like the cotija cheese and the various chili powders that we'll be using. Let's go ahead and apply some of that delicious cotija cheese, making sure to fully cover the entire elote. Okay, so now you're gonna grab your tahin chili powder. You're gonna again cover the whole elote, make sure it's spread evenly throughout. We like to use tahin because it gives it a little extra saltiness, hint of lime, and plus it adds a little bit of a spice, a nice little kick. And now let's finish off this bad boy with a few drops of lime just to fully bring out all the flavors. And there we go. This first one's looking delicious. And then for this next one, it's going to be very similar to the first one. We're still going to be applying a thick coat of mayo, putting on that delicious cotija cheese. The only difference here is that we're going to add a little bit of a different spice. For this one, we're going to use the piquin chili powder, which is a lot spicier than the previous one that we used. But if your taste buds are up for it, we think you'll really like it. All 
Oh man, save me a piece of that corn. We don't want to leave anyone out here, but if you're the type of person that doesn't really handle spicy food too well, or if black pepper makes you sweat, we got one here that we think you'll enjoy. To wrap things up, we got a special one here for you guys. We call this one the State Fair Elote Food Fiesta version. All we need to do is drizzle a generous amount of melted butter on this puppy. And there you have it. Surprise! Get that corn out of my face! Hey, if Nacho doesn't want it, I don't want it either. Let's go ahead and kick things up a notch. Let's grab some salt. Grab some lime and grab some chili powder. Mmm, this is very good. Deliciosos, pruébenlos. Really good. And there you have it. Four delicious different kinds of Mexican style street corn. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave us a like. It'll greatly help the channel. And also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of our authentic recipes. Till next time.